we will discuss about glycolysis glycolysis is the term which is originated from the two greek words that is glycos glycos means sugar and lysis lysis means splitting glycos and lysis glycolysis is the process it is also known as emp pathway it is also known as emp pathway why because this pathway is discovered by scientist and then mayer hof and parnas so it is known as emp emp pathway glycolysis is occur into the cytoplasm of cell in all living organism this process occur into the cytoplasm of cell in all living organism in all living organism in anaerobic organism it is the only pathway of respiration in an aerobic organism it is only process in respiration glycolysis is the process process shown by aerobic organism so it is common pathway in aerobic organism as well as anaerobic organism means it is a common pathway in aerobic respiration as well as in aerobic respiration it is common pathway in aerobic as well as as well as an aerobic respiration what happened in the glycolysis in the glycolysis glucose partially oxidized and two molecules of pyruvate form in this process in this process partial oxidation takes place not full oxidation takes place it takes place partially partial oxidation takes place and finally pyruvic acid molecules form in this pathway in this pathway 10 steps are involved in this pathway Ten steps are involved, and this pathway is completed into a two phases. This pathway is completed into this pathway is completed into two phases. one is one is preparatory phase and another one is payoff phase now 
we will discuss about a detailed pathway of glycolysis glycolysis is start from one molecule of glucose which is broken down in a various steps under the control of many enzymes and finally form a two pyruvic acid molecule now we will start from one molecule one uh, molecule of glucose one molecule of glucose which is a six carbon compound this glucose molecule is converted into one molecule of glucose 6 phosphate this is six is not the number of phosphate the phosphate is attached to the six carbon atom of glucose here so this phosphate is come from the atp molecule one phosphate is come here so atp is converted into a adp molecule you will understand here that this process energy is used energy molecule that is atp is used for this conversion and with the help of enzyme that is hexokinase with the help of enzyme hexokinase now this glucose 6 phosphate is converted into one molecule of fructose fructose 6 phosphate here fructose is the isomer of glucose 6 phosphate so it is interconvertible and for this conversion the enzyme which is help that is isomerase that is that is isomerase one molecule of fructose 6 phosphate is converted into one molecule of fructose 1 6 diphosphate here one phosphate is added so this phosphate is again come from the atp molecules and because of that atp molecules are converted into adp molecules for this conversion the enzyme which is help that is known as hexokinase hexokinase or phosphorylase now this one molecule of fructose 16 diphosphate this is also a six carbon compound this is also a six carbon compound and this is also a six carbon compound now when this six carbon compound is undergo cleavage or splitting it form a two molecules it form two molecules with the help of enzyme aldolase with the help of enzyme aldolase and the two molecules are that is dhap and pg al dhap full form of dhap is dihydroxy acetone phosphate and here the full form is phospho glyceraldehyde this is a three carbon compound this is three carbon compound and dhap also a three carbon compound make means six carbon compound is split into a three carbon three carbon compound 
Now we will continue with the PGAL. These two are also isomer of each other. These are the isomer of each other means PGAL converted into DHAP and DHAP converted into a PGAL. From first step up to this, these are known as preparatory phase. And you know that the glycolysis are glycolysis are completed into a two phases. One is preparatory phase and another one is payoff phase. In the preparatory phase, you will understand here one ATP molecule is used and here one ATP molecule is used. Now we will continue with the PGAL. Now we will continue with the PGAL molecule. PGAL molecule is converted into 1, 3 by phosphoglyceric acid. 1, 3 by phosphoglyceric acid. Here one more phosphate is added and the source of this phosphate is inorganic phosphate that is from H3PO4 one inorganic phosphate is added here and form 1,3-biphosphoglyceric acid. During this conversion during this conversion H2 molecules are released from PGAL and this H2 molecules are taken up by NAD+. These H2 molecules are taken up by NAD+, and form NADH plus H plus molecule. This, uh, during this conversion, which enzyme is helps? The enzyme is triose. The enzyme is triose phospho H2 molecules are loses here or eliminate from the reaction. So, dehydrogenase. Enzyme name is generally from the substrate or the process which is occur here. Now, 1,3-biphosphoglyceric acid is converted into 3 phosphoglycerate 3-phosphoglycerate Now here what happened the one phosphate is loses and this phosphate is taken up by ADP and converted into a ATP molecule Now here energy is required but here energy is generated here energy is generated. For this reaction, the enzyme which is, uh, which is helpful that is phosphoglycerate kinase. That is phosphoglycerate kinase. Now this phosphate this 3 phosphoglycerate is converted into 2 phosphoglycerate. Here only the position of phosphate is changed. Three, third number, third position is changed into second position. Here the one enzyme is helpful. The name of that enzyme is phosphoglycerate mutase. The name of that enzyme is phosphoglycerate mutase. Now 2-phosphoglycerate is converted into 2-phosphoglycerate is converted into phosphoenol phosphoenol pyruvate. Phospho enol pyruvate. Here 
the enolase enzyme is helpful. 2-phosphoglycerate is converted into phosphoenol pyruvate. During this conversion, enolase enzyme is helpful. Phosphoenol pyruvate is converted into pyruvic acid. It is converted into a pyruvic acid and here pyruvate Pyruvate kinase are helpful to this reaction. Now, phosphoenol pyruvate loses one phosphate molecule. It is taken up by ADP and converted into a ATP. Again, one ATP molecule is generated here. Means, in this reaction, in this reaction, these two ATP molecules are spent here, used here and from the PGAL, two ATP molecules are formed and one pyruvic acid molecules are formed. But this DHAP is converted into PGAL again and this process takes place again. Again two molecules and one pyruvic acid molecule are formed. So, in a glycolysis, how many ATP are formed and how many pyruvic acids are formed? From PGL molecule, one pyruvic acid formed, DHAP converted into PGL and again one pyruvic acid are formed. So, in the glycolysis, in the glycolysis, two pyruvic, pyruvic acid molecules are Form. Two pyruvic acid molecules are formed. Two ATP from PGL and two ATP molecules when DHAP converted into PGL means four ATP are formed. But two are used here, so minus two ATP, net two ATP are formed into the into the glycolysis process but when you will talk about the gross ATP then this NADH2 this NADH2 is equal to a 3 ATP molecules NADH2 equal to a 3 ATP molecules is equal to 3 ATP molecules from PGL 1 NADH2 form and from DHAP 1 NADH to form means in whole glycolysis process 2 NADPH uh, 2 NADH2 are formed so 2 into 3 is equal to 6 ATPs are formed this 2 ATP and from NADH2 there are 6 ATP 2 plus 6 means gross ATPs are gross ATPs are 8 gross ATPs are 8 ATPs. Now you will understand the whole process of glycolysis. In next video we will discuss about the Krebs cycle.